Justice Omotosho of the Federal High Court Abuja warns against delay in ex Edo Deputy Governor suit. That is a Philip Shaibu suit. I know that uh, Philip Shaibu has instituted the court case against his impeachment. Okay, and that case was initially instituted against the State House of Assembly Edo State until Motosho recommended that the current governor and the deputy governor should be joined in the case, including the current speaker of the State House of Assembly. Okay, but the case seems to be, uh, you know, foot dragging, and the case seems to be moving very slowly. Like now, it was, initi it was initially supposed to be on June 3rd this month, but for some reasons around the labor union you know, strike, it was moved to 50, which was, uh, you know, on Wednesday, and now the defendant uh, or key participant did not come, and now the case has been moved to June 28th. And that is why the Justice of the High Court, Justice uh, James Amotashaw, is now warning all parties involved to stop for dragging and finish up the case as fast as possible to avoid delays. So delaying the case will have its own consequence, which Amotashaw does not want. So according to Punch, Justice James Amotashaw of the Federal High Court in Abuja issued a stern warning against delay in the suit filed by former Edo State uh, Deputy Governor Philip Shaibu, challenging his impeachment and removal from office. So the judge delivered the caution during the further adjournment of the hearing in the case until June 28 in response to the absence of the defendants. Exactly. I know that the defendants will deliberately not be available so as to stall the case. The likes of Obaseki, the Deputy Governor and the Speaker of the State of Assembly. They will delay especially Obaseki, he will not come. That is it. So defendants in the suit include Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki and the others. Shaibu's legal battle stems from his impeachment on April 8, 2024, following a contentious political fallout be, uh, uh, with Governor Obaseki, triggered by Shaibu's gubernatorial ambitions, contrary to Obaseki's uh, preferences. Exactly. So Shaibu approached the court seeking to nullify his impeachment, deeming it unlawful, illegal, and unconstitutional. His lead counsel, Ayatunde Ogunleye's son, informed the court of the disruption caused by the recent industrial action by the organized labor, necessitating a short adjournment. So Justice Omotosho reiterated the urgency of the matter, reminding the parties of the previous order mandating the filing and exchange of processes based on accelerated hearing granted in respect of the suit despite the agreement among counsel for the um, adjournment in june 28 justice Omotosho warned against further delay emphasizing um, his intolerance for foot dragging tactics exactly so they should they should talk to their client the the defendant lawyers should talk to their client to you know make haste and make themselves available so that the case can be trashed out as fast as possible so the judge underscored his commitment to expedite the proceedings and cautioned against any attempt to obstruct or prolong the legal process he asserted that any party seeking objections to the suit must present them alongside the substantive matter and in that in the event of non-appearance by any party, we would invoke relevant laws to proceed with the case. Exactly. So next time when they meet, if any relevant party fail to appear, they will invoke the relevant laws that will permit them to proceed the case in the absence of such parties. That is it. That is it. Okay. So Justice Amotosha's warning signals the court's resolve to ensure expeditious adjudication of Jaibu's case, reflecting the imperative of timely justice delivery in matters of public interest and constitutional significance. So, so this is good that Omotosho is now warning all of them to sit up and make sure they make themselves available. I'm telling you, it must be a delay tactic on the part of the, um, the governor and his uh, current deputy and the speaker of the House of Assembly to delay the case, I will not be surprised. That is the truth. I will definitely 
not be surprised to see that this is a delay tactic. But I'm not sure we are an experienced uh, 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 legal personnel and a judge and a justice knows how delay tactics can play out, knows the signs of a delay tactics when he sees them. So, and that is why he's warning them that this foot dragging tactics will not be tolerated. If they don't appear in the court on June 28th, then they will invoke necessary laws or necessary part of the constitution that will allow them to proceed even in the absence of such a, um, of such a participants or such a defendant, irrespective of uh, their level of uh, uh, significance or, or whatever, or relevance in the case. So we've got just to comment, somebody say good one. Okay, the delay is from judge to allow for incessant uh, adjournment. It's the same judge that is saying he doesn't want it now. Why are you saying it's from the judge? The judge is saying that he doesn't want foot, drag, foot dragging uh, uh, tactics, that all of them should come out and finish up this case to maintain timely delivery of justice. Okay, so it's not the judge. It must be uh, Basaki and his people that are trying to use the tactics on this case. To frustrate all parties involved so that they will get probably get what they want but it's not going to be as easy as that okay so but again i say shaibu the question is what shaibu is doing is he right where well, he has a constitutional right or civic right to pursue any form of injustice or perceived form of injustice in the court of law that is it but again will he win this case and uh, what will be the end of it? If he loses, what will be the consequence? If he wins as well, what will be the benefit? Is he going to be put back as a governor, deputy governor of a new state? Or uh, I'm sure one of the problems he has again is like his entitlement, he didn't get them. And so if he wins, he'll probably get his entitlement, not necessarily going back to become uh, the deputy governor of the state because by the time these things this are over, the gov the the tenor will probably be having just few months left. Is he going to go back to the office as governor on that premise, and then the current deputy governor removed again? This matter go drag. Oh. It go drag. It go really drag. It go really drag. So that is what is happening. Philip Shaibu is desperate to get justice, to get judgment against a state. I can see it's almost like a one man squad, one man versus the state. Because anybody fighting the state has of assembly, the state governor and the deputy state governor is automatically fighting the state. So this is Philip Shaibu's one man squad. <laughs> Working to get done. So that is the warning coming from Justice James from Motorshaw. Any delay, any further delay will not be tolerated and case will be continued. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment here.